This is by no means a new model from Valenta, and there is quite a lot of information on internet forums about it. However, it is a new model to me, and I will be doing a write-up about the Volcano in RC Electric Flyer magazine. There is a nice large tail on this model which promises good aerobatic qualities and is one of the things that attracted me to it. The all moving tail is driven by a servo in the back of the fuselage. The rudder is driven by a servo up front and I may not have enough movement here, we'll see, but it can be adjusted by moving the rudder post. The canopy release is pre-fitted, which is a nice touch, and I've added a few cooling holes. The canopy itself is pre-formed and fits very well, and leaves plenty of space under the hood for whatever equipment you want to fit. I fabricated my own servo tray to fit my battery of choice, which is going to be a 5S LiPo, but I might try 6S at some later date as well. The receiver position has meant that I've ended up with longer server cable than would be ideal. You may be able to see behind the receiver that there is a former that I have inserted behind the wing root fairing. I fitted a battery deck in addition to the servo tray, but with a bit of planning, there really is enough room in here to put in any equipment of your own choice and configuration. The wing construction is very tidy and everything seems to fit very well and to be very neat. The wing tips themselves look to be a bit of an afterthought, but I'm sure they'll be aerodynamic and I'm looking forward to see how the whole thing goes in the air. The air brakes are pre-fitted and the action turned out to be very smooth after I had removed a little bit of material from one of the capping pieces. I've programmed in a little bit of downward flap movement to accompany the spoilers and that may help me to control the speed once the spoilers are deployed. So, all in all, a very attractive model and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this one goes at the slope.